And does fear and low self-esteem hinder women from challenging their male counterparts in policy making? Well, a women's lobby group in Kisi County believes this is true. Foundations for Women's Rights says women are not only intimidated during the political campaign period, but also when attempting to challenge policies at the county level. The group met women from Migori, Kisi and Yamira counties to sensitize them on their right to seek elective positions and participate in policy making. We are being ignored in election because somebody can look at, uh, at you fiscally and thinks that you cannot read. But I'm assuring you today, but even disabled people can lead since they are not disabled in their mind. We are disabled in fiscal legs, hands, but in the real sense, in mind, in mental, we don't. We are not dis disabled. The women will be championing for the leadership of women. As we know, the not more than two-thirds gender principle is facing challenges in the implementation. And now women need to come out and seek elective positions because what we have been seeing is a situation whereby we have nominations of women in order to, to meet the not more than two-thirds gender quota. But now because of uh, the cultural barriers, and uh, the, the inferiority complex to some of our good men, they feel uh, inferior when they elect women to leadership positions. I don't know why, but I feel it's important. There is uh, stigma and intimidation because like now in Kizi County, we have, I have been in the assembly for three years now. But uh, funny enough, I even don't have an office to operate from. 